flag, bitch. And cooling. Oh shit. Yeah. It's from here. Good morning, guys. Um, so, this is like my 20th trip to uh, an auto parts. Uh, this time I went to O'Reilly's because uh, they finally had the uh, back in lines that I needed. Um, for cheap, I think it was like 129. Um, so I also got some peas and some other fittings. Uh, I wanted to get some brass fittings, but um, couldn't find one there. Um, I also got these um, uh, biking caps, just in case I need them. Um, Hold clamps and 40 feet of wire because. Um, I don't want to drill into my firewall, so I'm just gonna run the boost gauge uh, connections through the passenger side firewall. So I'm gonna have to pass all the wires through my dashboard, right? Yeah. And yeah, that's pretty much what we're gonna do today. I don't know if this is gonna be enough for everything, but um, I mainly just got it for the blow valve, so. Um, if I have left enough for the waste case, I do a waste case today. If not, um, I'll do a waste case uh, tomorrow. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, today uh, is a pretty special day because I'm gonna go pick up the last thing that I need for the turbo build, and that's gonna be my fuel pump. I'm actually picking up an actual fuel basket that already has a 450 fuel pump. So I just have to change the basket and I'll keep my basket. Uh, and that's it. Um, after that, it's just putting the oil bag, the power stream fluid bag, <coughs> and the uh, coolant bag. And, and then I have to talk to my tuner to schedule a date and see if he can save, send me a base map tune. And we'll be ready. I love how this car looks. Anyways, guys, uh, we have finally reached the end. Um, hopefully, this last video that I post, I have the startup of the car. Um, but let's go over what we're missing before we get to that. Um, so first thing, I bought this uh, fuel basket that already has a 450 fuel pump installed in it. So it's gonna save me a lot of time. I just have to clean it. Um, I was also able to finally, finally found the oil, the o-ring for the blow valve. So I'm gonna be putting that today. That way I don't have any problems with that and leaks. Um, I bought the oil for the Z. Um, I have an extra, what the hell? I don't know where I put it, but yeah, I have an extra quarter for the, that I'm probably gonna need for the spacer since I have the spacer now. Um, I always use mobile one, so yeah, I'm staying with that. Bought the power steering fluid, um, and um, coolant, antifreeze, whatever. Um, I have more also in my room, in my room, just in case it's not enough. Um, but yeah, hey guys, so as you can see. Remove everything to gain access to remove my um, fuel pump, uh, fuel basket. I mean, um, the other one I wasn't able to take it apart, I don't know why, um, but there's something weird going on that it won't let me um, take it apart. So I just spray water and then try to dry it as much as I can. I use an air dryer and I just try to clean it the best I could. Um, and then in the future, I'm just gonna use mine to put a new uh, fuel pump. So this one is just gonna be temporarily there since I'm barely gonna be even using the car. And then once I'm ready to actually uh, put more power, I'll buy a brand new fuel pump just in case. Because this fuel pump was sitting for a while, so who knows if it even works. But I got it for extremely cheap, so uh, it's worth a try. Yeah. 
guys so and here's the new fuel basket with a 450 fuel pump this in uh, i'm going to turn on the ignition now to see if i can hear the pump hopefully i did everything right and the fuel pump is actually working and that should be it Let's see okay so here we go first try Perfect. And you can hear the fuel pump there. Only bad thing is, I think this fuel pump is not gonna read the um, what's it called? The fuel level, but it's fine. You can hear it. Hey okay guys, so now I'm gonna put the O ring on the bottom. <laughs> well, I guess I should have checked my power steering before connecting the rest of the turbo because now this shit is leaking in here so I'm gonna kind of clean a little bit but as you can see it's still wet um, yeah hey guys so I was just fitting my bumper and like the plastic of the middle hits this coupler here so I'm just gonna cut it there um, I'll show you guys on the bumper and I think that should be good enough to be able to fit the bumper so I think I have to cut here this part right here a little bit and that's it should be good enough so that's the other piece that I have to cut I think other than that it should be fine I'm gonna have to fit it now Ready? Oh, I'm setting it up. Yeah. Setting it up. Alright. Hopefully the gauges work too. Yeah, that'll work. It's for it a painting work. stuff. It should work. Oh shit. Oh, shit.